I want you to listen to the scientists. I've always had a passion and love for science, and I really feel like science is the search for truth in a lot of ways. That's one thing I try to instill in my students, is that there's always more to explore, especially right in our own neighborhoods. Climate change is a global thing, but ultimately it's going to be felt locally. I've been incredibly inspired by the youth-led movement that's happening around school strike for climate change, and climate change in general, and the fact that it's youth that are leading this, because they're the ones that can have the inherent planet and live on it the longest after our generation is gone. Our club called Clean Air Green Corridor is focused on battling environmental injustice. I learned about the history of the Bronx River as well as where our water comes from, specifically from the Catskills Mountain. We went to a bunch of different schools in every part of our neighborhood and we were taking out invasive species from the from Sherman Creek, which was in like Dykeman, and then we were picking out different types of plants that are native. We've been planting trees around our school just to improve the air quality for us because since we live near a highway, we have very high asthma rates and we just want to improve that for ourselves. So my teacher has influenced my career, future career plans because I want to study environmental science and she's made it very interesting and very impactful. With technological innovations, you can change the world mixed with environmental science. On a local level, I teach students in the South Bronx and they're definitely affected by the use of fossil fuels and trucking industry. I mean, we have a tremendous amount of air pollution and evidence of like serious asthma. I don't really think that action is gonna take place unless the young people really push for it. I mean, they're the future generation of voters and they need to have like a really strong understanding of the science and like, it's my hope that people seeing me and my students on New Year's Eve will bring awareness and that they'll realize that it's everybody's um, responsibility to be part of solving climate change and preparing for the climate future.